See, when we say goals, we must understand this. From where you are, if you set a goal for your life, you can only set a goal according to your present level of understanding and knowledge, isn't it? You think you have reached a point where you know everything in the universe? So if you set a goal, what kind of goal will you set? A very meager goal. And if you grow rapidly, you will be terribly disappointed with your own goal. But this has been taught to you in the recent years that you must be goal-oriented. If you… Uh, let's say you want mangoes in your house. If you want mangoes, you don't have to think of mangoes. You have to think of soil, you have to think of manure, you have to think of water, you have to think of sunlight. None of them look or taste like mangoes. But if you take care of those things, mangoes will come. But suppose you have a strong desire for mango, but you did nothing about growing a mango tree in your home, you will want to steal it from him, if he has. So if you have goals, you… what you're calling as goals is just your desires. And your desires are just an outcome of the kind of thought process that you have right now. The kind of thought process that you have right now is only dependent upon the sort of data that you have collected right now. In twenty years' time of life, what kind of data do you believe you have gathered to set a goal for life? Not necessary. Your goal is going to be just a fanciful desire that you made up in your mind. And that is not even yours, your goals are all borrowed from ten other people. Whatever is the trend today, that is your goal, isn't it? I would tell the young people, don't set a goal. If you have absolute devotion to what you're doing right now, depending upon the times and the opportunities, we will go as far as we go. But if you're always concerned about the finish line and not the step that you're taking right now, you will fall flat on your face, most probably. If you get to the goal, you will be disappointed. If you don't get there, you will be broken. Most successful people on the planet, I want you to just look at it, don't… don't just go by what I say. Just go on the street and watch people. Leave the people who are driving bullock cart and this and that. Just watch those people who are driving BMWs, Mercedes and whatever else, okay? Successful people, just carefully watch them. How many of them are joyfully driving their BMW? Hello? How many of them are joyfully driving their dream car that they worked for? You will see hardly anybody, hardly anybody unless it's a stolen car. So, those who have gotten to their goals are disappointed. Those who could not, could not get there are broken and frustrated. What's the point of a life like this? Your ability to do things is enhanced only when you're absolutely, absolutely devoted to the process in which you're involved. I'm using the word devotion intentionally because people think devotion means going to the temple. You tell me. In any field, any arena of life, sport, art, music, politics, spirituality, you name it, whatever you want, academics, has anybody reached any significant levels of achievement without being devoted to what they are doing? Has anybody reached mediocre things they have done? Only those who are absolutely devoted to what they are doing, they have done significant things on this planet and that's what you must do.